This little boy was playing in the forest when he found a huge snake skin. He picked up the snake skin and looked at it carefully for a long time. But it seemed that he had never seen this pattern in his memory. At this moment, he was unaware of the danger that was slowly approaching Mowgli Saturday down and ate the freshly picked wild fruits as if nothing had happened. At that moment, a cunning civic had appeared in the forest to attract his attention. On the other hand, its companion took the opportunity to seal the wild fruits. The boy chased them all the way to the tree, and the atmosphere around him instantly became very eerie. Mowgli frowned in place, not knowing what to do. At that moment, a talking python appeared and greeted the boy affectionately. The boy was confused by the pupils of the python, and then he saw his pass from there. Mowgli was attacked by a tiger years ago, when his father took him to a cave for the night. The father fought the tiger with a torch but could not escape his fate. Luckily, the torch burned the tiger's eyes, so that it didn't find Mowgli hiding deep in the cave. He came out of the cave and saw a black panther coming towards him. But instead of being afraid of the panther, Mowgli put his hand in his mouth. Although the panther looks scary, but his is very kind. Not only did the panther not hurt Mowgli, but he adopted him. In the days to come, Panther became Mowgli's tutor and taught him how to escape from the chase in the forest. To survive in this cruel forest, one must adapt to the laws of the land. But even a single panther cannot protect Mowgli, so he is entrusted to the wolves. With the shelter of the wolves, Mowgli grew up in the forest. Until the year of drought, when the rocks on the riverbed were exposed to the water, this means that there is a truce in the forest, during which the animals live together in harmony according to the law. This is also the law by which the forest survives. The boy followed the wolves to the river to drink, but the way he used a turtle shell to get water caused the animals to look at him. After all, the biggest difference between humans and animals is that humans can use tools. Then the tiger, the king of the forest, also came to the lake to drink. The wolf king told Mowgli to hide behind a rock, but he was discovered by the tiger. The tiger demanded the wolves to hand Mowgli over, and said that humans would use fire to break the laws of the forest. But how could the wolf king agree to that? Instead, he led the wolves to prepare for a fight. Seeing this, the tiger had no choice but to turn around and leave. Mowgli was lucky to escape this time, but the wolf king knew that the tiger would not give up. For his safety, the wolf king asked the black panther to send him back to the human village. On the way down the mountain, they were attacked by a tiger. The panther resisted to the death and tried to buy time for Mowgli to escape, but he was knocked out by the tiger after five seconds of resistance. At the critical moment, Mowgli jumped on the back of a bison and followed the herd to escape from the mountains. But the danger didn't end there. The boy strayed deep into the jungle and was tightly entangled by a giant python. The snake opened its bloody mouth. At this critical moment, the brown bear appeared in time to save the boy and then led him to the cave. In order to repay the bear for saving his life, the boy decided to go to the cliff to collect honey. Mowgli used his human strengths and advantages to climb up the vine to the beehive. It took him a lot of effort to pull down a piece of honey from the hive to give the bear a meal. Mowgli, however, was stumped by the bees, but didn't care much about it. After all, this was the bear that saved his life. Mowgli returned the favor and turned to leave. When the brown bear learned that he was going to a human village, he offered to drive him there. They walked from day to night and finally arrived near the village. But Mowgli hesitated when he saw the lights that filled the area. He had been living in the forest since he was a child and didn't know if he could adapt to human life. The brown bear persuaded Mowgli to stay in the village and said he would protect him. If Mowgli wanted to return the favor, he had to help him pick more honey. Gradually, the bear became attached to him. The bear and the boy lived happily in the forest. They were playing together in the river. Suddenly there was a noise in the grass near the river. Mowgli hid behind the bear and thought that the tiger was coming for him again. Then a familiar figure emerged from the flowers. Mowgli was especially happy to take the panther back to the cave and immediately showed him the honey he had picked. But the panther was furious when he saw it because Mowgli's way broke the law of the forest. The bear felt good about eating the honey, but the bees were in trouble. The panther told Mowgli to return to the human village right away, but it was late outside, so he had no choice but to stay in the cave for the night. In the middle of the night, Mowgli was awakened by strange noises. He ran out of the cave and saw a herd of elephants wailing not far away. It turned out that a baby elephant had fallen into the pit. Mowgli immediately thought of a way to save the elephant. He found vines to make a rope and then pulled the baby elephant out of the pit. And this scene was just seen by the black panther. In fact, he didn't want Mowgli to leave the forest, but the tiger was so dangerous that Mowgli's life would be in danger if he didn't leave. 
The panther could only tell the brown bear about the incident. After learning what had happened, the bear realized the seriousness of the problem. So the brown bear also found Mowgli said a lot of heartless words. Mowgli listened and left sadly. He Saturday alone in a tree and sulked. Suddenly a group of monkeys appeared and took Mowgli away and took him up the mountain with them. To Mowgli's surprise, when he reached the top of the mountain, he saw an ancient ruin. It was a giant talking ape. He stretched out his fingers and pushed the boy aside, then threatened him to hand over the red flower. But the boy had lived in the forest since he was a child and did not know how to make fire. Crisis moment, a brown bear suddenly appeared to attract the attention of the apes. And the panther hiding in the shadows took the opportunity to take Mowgli away. But in the process of escape, they were found by an ape. And so the boy began to play the game of Temple Run. The giant ape was furious, although his body is large but particularly nimble. So it quickly blocked the exit and told Mowgli that it was useless for you to go back to the wolf pack because the wolf king was already dead. Now no one dares to help you except the group of apes and monkeys. After hearing this, Mowgli was filled with grief and anger and wanted to escape from here even more. So it jumped out of the door directly and the giant the ape was too big to be crushed by the construction site. It built eventually. Mowgli managed to escape the control of the apes and wanted to seek revenge on the tiger. But he also knows very well that with his own strength, it is impossible to defeat the tiger. Only fire can defeat it. So he went to the human village and stole a torch and rushed to the forest without hesitation. But he didn't notice that the sparks from the torch fell onto the grass. The animals in the forest fled in fear at the sight of the fire. They passed messages to each other and soon gathered together. That's when Mowgli found the tiger with the torch. Now that he had the power of fire, he had nothing to fear. But then the tiger acted as a peacemaker, saying that humans would destroy the forest with fire. And Mowgli looked back and realized he had made a big mistake. Then he threw the torch into the river with all his might. And that's exactly what the tiger wanted to see. He ripped off his mask of hypocrisy and prepared to attack Mowgli. Just then the animals who supported Mowgli stepped forward and decided to join the resistance. But the tiger is the king of the beasts. The brown bear was defeated before he could even get a few rounds in with the tiger. Even the wolves were no match for the tiger. When the tiger saw Mowgli running towards the woods, he got away from the other animals and chased after Mowgli. He soon cornered Mowgli in a tree. Just as the tiger jumped and pounced on him, Mowgli jumped under the tree and pulled out the vine to escape the danger. And the tiger crushed the branch and fell into the fire. Mowgli finally got his revenge and the fire was stopped by the elephants who arrived just in time. They used the trunk of the tree to change the flow of water to douse the forest fire. The forest finally returns to peace. And Mowgli from then on the animals live together and never return to the human village. The details of the animals in this film are too real and touching and follow the style of Disney animation. Each animal is lifelike. The visual effect is impeccable.